Here we are in 2020, and the same atrocities that have happened to African Americans over the last 100, 200, 300, 400 years are still occurring. Bishop Samuel Green, the leader of the African Methodist Episcopal Church in South Carolina, says the last nine days of protesting and outcry since George Floyd's death spawns from years and years of injustice and inequality in the black community. You seem to think this time it has reached a climax, so to say. I think so. I think it has reached a climax, and I think that the climate of America now says we can't wait. We will not wait. Many have taken to the streets. Instances of protests turning unlawful, vandalism and destruction from a place of anger. Here in South Carolina, Bishop Green says protest and let your voice be heard, but in place of violence, vote. What has happened to George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and others in America is in vain if we don't use our power. Our power is in the voting booth. For so many Americans across the country, the time for change is now. What that change will look like is hard to tell, but to help people to rise above. For Bishop they, Green and the AME Church, enough is enough. I don't want to see life leave the body of a person who has been dehumanized, who has been discounted as being valuable, who, because of his color, he's treated worse than a, worse than an animal. That's a life, and I think that is driving us to make a difference. Do you see a light at the end of the tunnel? Oh yes, a man of faith, people of faith, we have to believe and trust God to know that he's still in control. And everything that's going on around us, God is still speaking. It's just whether or not we're ready to hear his voice and answer. In Columbia, Alan Devlin, WIFF News 4.